The High Lays Laser Center is located just south of Prague in the village of Dolny Brezhany. It is a state-of-the-art research facility which falls under the Institute of Physics of the Czech Academy of Sciences. The High Lays Center stands for Excellent Laser Technology. We develop new generations of diode-pumped lasers with high average power and high repetition rate. These lasers have breakthrough parameters and you wouldn't find them in any other laboratory in the world. They are used for practical industrial applications in car manufacturing, aircraft, or even in biomedicine. Join us and we'll take you into the Hylaes Center building, and together we'll look into places that usually stay hidden to visitors. First, we'll take a peek into the foyer and the lobby. The Hylaes Center employs more than 100 people, one third of whom are foreigners. Our scientific teams focus on the development of advanced lasers, as well as industrial and scientific applications. The DNA of Hylaes is made up of three values, uniqueness, usefulness, and trustworthiness. We push the boundaries of technological possibilities beyond current limits and connect the world of research and industry. Our mission is to bring super lasers into the real world. From the lobby, we will continue to the seminar room, where lectures are held for the professional and general public. It is here where you can join some of our popular events, such as the International Day of Light, the Researchers' Night, or the Week of the Academy of Sciences. For companies, we host a number of training courses and workshops here, including professional laser safety training and laser safety officer training. Our research teams would not be complete without the technical team, which design and manufacture the necessary components and parts for our laboratories and laser systems. In the mechanical workshop, special holders for optical components are being prepared on 3D printers right now. But let's move on to the experimental halls. This is the Laser Shock Peening Station, or LSP for short. LSP is used to harden metal materials for extremely stressed components. Compared to conventional methods, LSP can treat the surface to many times greater depth. It reduces the fatigue of materials and increases their resistance to corrosion. This prevents failures and thus also high costs of repair and replacement. We can visualize it well on this plate. We have fixed it into the robot arm and applied laser shock peening. Then we have measured the residual stresses on it, first using X-ray diffractometer, and then by mechanical drilling. As a result, we find that the plate has much higher residual compressive stresses after laser treatment, and therefore greater resistance to cracks spreading through the piece. At the High Lays Center, we also deal with laser micro-machining and surface functionalization. In the future, this innovative method may, for example, prevent frosting on aircraft wings or help create effective joint implants with antibacterial surfaces. Some laser-treated materials also have excellent water repellent properties. The Pharos and Estrella lasers can be found in this hall. These lasers allow us to produce nanoparticles that are important for the production of biosensors, drug delivery, catalysis, and micro-nanoelectronics. At the Hylay Center, we don't keep our equipment just to ourselves. As part of the Open Access program, we also offer it free of charge to other scientific institutions. On the ground floor of the Hylay's building, there are laboratories with super powerful lasers and technical facilities covering an area of almost 700 meters squared. And that's where we're heading now. In these laboratories, we need to follow the clean room policy. We have to wear special, full body suits and go through an air shower before entering. Dust, makeup, or even hairspray are harmful to the lasers, so we need to minimize dust particles in the air. If the laser is on, it is signaled by a red light and we must put on protective goggles. Now we can enter the laboratory, where materials and components are tested under controlled conditions for resistance to laser radiation. The technical term is Laser Induced Damage Threshold, or LIDT. Simply put, we find out how much laser radiation an optical component can withstand. Our laboratory has been certified to ISO 9001 2016, and we are able to perform tests for external customers and partners. In this laboratory, we have a variety of instruments for characterization. The sample we put into this scanning electron microscope is then displayed in nanometers, which is a billionth of a meter. 
We use it, amongst other things, to see how accurately we have been able to laser treat a given sample. Next to it, we can see a Raman spectrometer and an atomic force microscope, which can measure the topography down to the atomic scale. This place can be compared to the brain of the Bevoy laser system, which takes its name from the mythical Czech strongman. This is where the instructions for its control come from. Bevoy itself is just outside this door. It's the world's first laser in a given class to exceed one kilowatt. In 2021, it even broke its own performance record. It has steadily achieved an energy of 145 joules, reaching the maximum output energy of 146.5 joules in a 10 nanosecond pulse at a repetition rate of 10 hertz, which is like being hit by the world's fastest baseball pitch 10 times in one second. It occupies an area of about 3 by 18 meters and was designed and constructed at the UK's Central Laser Facility with the active participation of our scientists. We use it to test the durability of optical components and laser shock peening. Bevoy can process a surface 10 to 20 times faster than conventional industrial lasers. In addition to Bevoy, Hylase also has the Perfect Laser System, PERLA for short, which belongs to the so-called pulsed lasers. The pulses are very short, lasting on the order of picoseconds. So, unlike continuous lasers, they do not cause melting and burning of the material. This ensures that no micro cracks are created when cutting or drilling. On top of that, we are able to produce compact PERLA thin disc lasers according to customer requirement. They have exceptional beam quality and pulse energy up to 20 millijoules. They cover repetition rates from 1 to 200 kilohertz and are capable of producing more than 750 beams at a time. This is why they are suitable for multi-beam micro-machining and surface structuring. For for those who purchase a Perla compact laser, the Hylase Go Pico Fiber Oscillator is a great choice as a pulse source. During our virtual tour, we've peeked into the most interesting laboratories of the Hylase Laser Center. Do you want to learn even more and experience science on your own? We look forward to seeing you at the Hylase Laser Center during one of our public events.